Right lads, um, today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. It's going to be a scripted and history video. Um, so, if you liked it, like, subscribe, share. You know what to do. Um, so, I'll see you in the video. The Battle of Danny Boy took place near Al Amara in southern Iraq on May 14th, 2004 between British soldiers and Iraqi insurgents numbering up to about 100 personnel from the Maori army. The battle was named after a nearby British checkpoint named Danny Boy, which was close to Major al Kabir. The 14th of May began with a rocket attack on the British position at Abu Naji. The command ordered Lads Corporal Brian Wood of the PWR and his team to go and locate the positions of the insurgents in their warrior armoured fighting vehicle. At the start of the battle, the insurgents ambushed a patrol of Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders close to Danny Boy. The Argyls called in reinforcements from the 1st Battalion of the Princess of Wales' Royal Regiment. This was to be Lance Corporal Wood's team. They were also ambushed. Due to a comms failure, reinforcements were delayed and while waiting for the reinforcements, they were involved in one of the fiercest combat engagements fought by the British in Iraq involving close squatters combat with rifles and bayonets. The AFV came under sustained and accurate small arms fire. The warrior stopped and returned fire with its 30mm Raden cannon. Wood and his small team were unsighted inside the vehicle compartment. He immediately took control and ordered his men to be ready for CQB and to fix bayonets. They dismounted the vehicle and charged at the entrenched and well-fortified enemy position, returning fire as they moved in a staggered manner across the open ground towards the trench. They had bullets flying all around them, but undeterred, they continued and when they eventually reached their objective, they caused confusion and fear for the enemy some of them ran away and others surrendered. They were engaged by the retreating enemy and had to return fire several times. The battle lasted three long hours during which 28 Mardi army insurgents were KIA. Although some of his patrol had wounds by the end of the battle, none had been killed. Lance Corporal Wood was awarded the military cross for his part in the battle as he seized the initiative and led from the front. Outnumbered and outgunned, he and his men put their lives at risk and defeated the enemy when all odds were against him. Military Cross is awarded for gallantry in the face of the enemy and is the third highest military cross in the British Army, behind only the Conspicuous Gallantry Cross and the Victoria Cross. Right lads, um, if you like the video, um, don't forget to subscribe and um, like if you haven't already. Um, so, I. This was my first scripted and history video, so please don't go, like, go easy on this in the comments if you're gonna, like, criticise this. Um, so, yeah, that's it, um, I'll see you, I'll see you next time.